using the column settings dialog box. So here I have, I'm clicked on some M text. I have my text editor up and I have something that has columns. If I go to the down arrow on columns, at the bottom of the list I have column settings. And when I click on column settings, I can control my column type over here in the dynamic columns or my static columns or no columns, whether it's manual or auto. If I go static, this is where it says how many columns it is. And I can also control the height of the columns here. I can say, well, you know, it really needs to be 8.75. So I can control the width of these columns. Let's say, oh, it really needs to be 15 exactly. And here I can control the gutter. The gutter is this bowling alley in between the two columns. And this is one of the few places I can change that. I can say, yeah, I want to go with three quarters of an inch. And so that will tighten that up. And so then I can say, OK. And now you can see my gutter got narrow now at this point. And you can see I have a lot of extra room in here. So I might want to come in here and say, you know what? Um, my column width is a little bit wide. I could probably go with 12. And you can say, OK. And boom, you can come down and shrink those down. So uh, another method of doing of controlling these is not only with the drop down menu, uh, but with the column settings. The nice thing about column settings, it's about the only place we can really, one of the few places we can control the gutter in between the two columns. Uh, I call it the bowling alley gutter right down the middle there. Uh, it's one of the few places where we can control that uh, gutter. Uh, so is using the column settings dialog box.